Hey there, and welcome to this short yoga sequence for feet and ankles. So we will get started in child's pose if you'd like to start making your way there now. But before we really get into the pose, just have a little bit of information and a brief disclaimer for you. You may want to grab a blanket or two, and then also you might want to have a block handy to help modify some of the poses to fit your body, especially if your ankles are particularly tight. Also, one note that if you have an injury in your knees or ankles or feet, be sure to talk to your doctor or physical therapist or yoga teacher before practicing these poses so that you can figure out if number one, you should even be practicing them, and number two, if it's okay, then how you should modify them to your body. With that said, let's begin in child's pose. So, Bringing your big toes to touch and just sinking your hips down towards your heels, reaching your fingertips long on the mat and really thinking about pressing the tops of your ankles and your shins against the mat, pressing down, 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 opening the tops of your feet, bringing your forehead to meet the mat If it doesn't quite get there, you can always put a block under your forehead. But allowing your thoughts to spill out your forehead as you lengthen each breath. The next one just a little bit longer than the previous breath. Take a big breath in. Breath out. Big breath in. Let it go. Take one more inhale and then press to downward facing dog on your exhale, bending your feet and ankles the other direction. So taking a minute here to just gently pedaling out your legs, walk the dog as they say. So just bringing one heel closer to the mat than the other Practicing pressing through the heels, just warming up your ankles a little bit. And then come to stillness. On your inhale, come up on your tippy toes, lift your heels. On your exhale, press your heels to the mat. Inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, heels to the mat. Once more, inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, heels to the mat. Taking a breath here in down dog. So breath in. Let it go. One more inhale. And then walk to the top of your mat on your exhale. Your feet are hip distance apart. On your inhale, reach your arms up for chair pose. So sinking your seat low, hips are square in front of you, knees are in alignment with each other. And reach your arms long as you sink your seat a little bit deeper. See if you can get a little deeper into the pose, working your heels just a little bit more. You have an option to stay here or you can sweep your arms back behind you into airplane arms and come up to your tippy toes for drinking bird. This is a little bit of a balance. So if you fall out, don't worry about it. Just come back to where you were. Take a breath in and come back to chair pose. One more inhale, release forward fold, exhale. Take a breath in and let it go. So here having the option to come into gorilla pose. If you'd like, you can take a blanket and slide it under your toes or you can slip the palms of your hands under the soles of your feet, bringing your toes up to your wrist creases. 
But here, just working a little bit through the calves and through the ankles, remembering that your calf muscles are attached to your heel and they are integrated with your ankle. So whenever you are paying attention to your ankles and feet, also make sure to pay attention to your calves and just take a couple of breaths here. Big breath in. Big breath out. With every exhale, maybe releasing into the fold just a little bit more. Take one more breath in. And release your hands if you slip them under your feet in gorilla pose, coming to a forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold. Exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold. Exhale. Slowly, slowly, one vertebra at a time, rise up to stand, arms by your side, mountain pose, Tadasana. Take a deep breath in and release it. And carefully make your way back to your mat, coming to have a seat on your mat, setting up for hero pose. So for this, you can grab a block to sit on if you'd like to, if your hips are tighter, or if your ankles are tighter but setting up so that your feet are on the other side of your hips and you're sitting on your shins. So if this is too much for you, you can always place a folded blanket under your knees and your shins and that will take a little bit of the pressure off of your feet and ankles if those are feeling very tight. And again, you can always play around with the height of your block as well if you have one, and that will change the amount of pressure that are on your feet and ankles. So once you have found the right position here, simply just place your hands gently on your thighs, close your eyes, bring your shoulders back, nice proud chest, and just breathe here. Long, deep breaths, allowing the tops of your feet to open. Take one more breath in, and then slowly press your way back to downward facing dog. When you're there, taking a moment to pedal out your legs, pressing one heel to the mat, then the other. Just opening your ankles and feet in the other direction. And then come to stillness in your down dog. Take a breath in. Let it go. Come back onto your mat, this time setting up for toe squats. You're going to be in a somewhat similar position, but you'll be curling your toes under. So we're going to be stretching the bottom of your feet. So it's a slightly different pose and you'll actually be sitting on your heels. So you have a couple of options for modifications here. You can sit on a block again, like you may have done in hero pose. You can also place a blanket under your knees or you could place a blanket between the backs of your calves and the backs of your thighs. So there's a blanket sandwiched in between your folded legs. So those would be good options to take if you have any joint issues, but that you've been cleared to do a type of yoga like this. So once you've found your best position of toe squat, Again, just let your hands gently rest on your thighs. Close your eyes and take some deep breaths. Maybe bringing your attention to your ankles and feet and just simply focusing on letting them release a little bit of the tension that is in your ankles and feet. And especially the bottoms of your feet, the plantar fascia, this is a great stretch for that area. Continuing to breathe. Take one more breath and carefully release. Just take a seat and gently lift one leg out and just circle your ankle in one direction. 
then the other, trying to articulate through its full range of motion. And then switch out your feet, rotate the other foot in one direction. And then rotate it in the opposite direction. Okay, we have one final real big ankle and foot pose, which is thunderbolt pose. So this is going to be very similar to hero pose, except this time you'll be sitting on your heels. So this is one where if your feet are very tight or if your ankles are very tight, you might benefit from having a couple of blankets here. You might put a blanket under your knees and shins, a folded blanket, and that will help take some of the pressure off of your ankles and feet, especially if your ankles and feet are really tight. You again also have the option to essentially sit on a blanket and place a blanket between your calves and your hamstrings as your legs are folded. But you should be sitting on the tops of your feet, the tops of your ankles, and the shins of your leg. So once you've found the best position for you and where your body is today, remembering and honoring the fact that your body will be different every day, then simply again, let your hands gently rest on your thighs, close your eyes, and breathe. When you're ready, carefully make your way out of Thunderbolt Pose and come to lie on your back, coming into Dead Bug or Happy Baby. So your thighs will come by your sides, knees are bent, feet are flexed, grabbing your feet and having the option to gently rock back and forth if you want to be a happy baby, or you can stay still if you feel more like being a dead bug. Either one is fine. But here focusing on flexing the foot. So using this as a counter pose to reopen the back sides of your ankles and feet, and just to relieve some of the pressure of Thunderbolt pose. If you'd like, you can release your hands and just circle out your feet one direction and then the other. Give your knees a big hug in. Thank your body for carrying you through this short practice today. And then carefully press yourself up to a seated position. Finding that easy seated pose. Hands heart center. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me for a little bit of yoga today. Namaste.